Hi there, it's Natasha and thank you so much for joining me. This video is purely around this rose layering stamp set that is from Alina Crafts. I just wanted to go into how to layer stamp. So you can see that it has four stamps there that does the rose. This stamp set also has uh, stamps that do rosebuds and leaves. I think there's a couple, at least a couple of different types of leaves and things. But in this video, I'm just going to be focusing on that big rose because it's kind of the main, um, yeah, main feature, I guess. Now there is the outline stamp and then there's three uh, layering parts to it. So I'm just going to use the three layering ones. The first way that I'm going to show you is using a stamping tool. Now this is the easy way. <laughs> this is the way that is um, maybe more common these days just because it is easier. And I have just found three uh, pinky red inks in my stash. They're not, none of them from the same company. And um, this is just what is going to work for me. So I'm starting with my lightest one. And I have a piece of cardstock here. And they're already on the lid of my, this happens to be a uh, Tim Holtz stamping uh, platform. But any of your stamp platforms will work just fine. And I'm just quickly putting the ink on. This is dye ink. And I'm going to stamp it down push and when I bring it up you'll see that it's kind of a bit blotchy but it really doesn't matter. Some of these inks settle a little bit as they dry but more importantly it's the bottom layer and you're going to add more ink on top anyhow. I'm coming in with my second one here and before I shut it I realize I need to shift down my rows so I have set it up so I'm going to do it at the zero centimeter mark, the seven centimeter mark and then the 14 centimeter mark. That way I can have all my stamps on my uh, stamping platform and not have to shift them around. This was mainly just for the video uh, purposes showing you guys. This isn't really probably what I need to do when I'm stamping all the time. So when I've lined them up, I've just put the um, clear stamp on top of the old one, lined up some pieces of the stamp and moved on. I'm, in a minute, I'm going to go into a bit more detail of how I did that when I show you how to stamp using acrylic blocks only. So now I've shifted my piece of paper down to the 14 centimeter mark and I'm using some rock and red ink from Catherine Pooler just to do the final layer of um, bright red. I have to shift my magnet here because it's in the way and gently push it down and it's good to go. So that is the three layers. Remember that there is also an outline layer here that you could add to it but I quite like the way it looks just as is. And when you use different colors, these roses will look really different too. So um, bear that in mind. I just picked three that kind of looked fine for this video. So I have three uh, acrylic blocks, blocks here, three different ones, and I'm going to put one of each of the layers on each one. I'm going to use exactly the same colors and I'm going to use um, the same stamps, obviously. Now I just want to show you here, this is the top point of the rose. So you can see it's the same point on all of the roses. Now, all I have to do is figure out these two. See the point up there and the point there? That's what I'm going to be lining up. The other point of the stamp is down to the bottom right. So that is the other point just down here that I am going to line up with the one on here. So those are the two points that I'm looking to line up on this stamp set with the roses. So as I said, I'm just going to bring in the same piece of paper and do it right beside the other one so that you can kind of um, hopefully compare the two. And so I have my bold stamp, the one that is completely solid, and I can see that wee point there. So I know that that point has to be at the top. Again, I'm just going to ink it up using my lightest color. And again, it is going to stamp a little bit uh, blotchy, but that doesn't matter because we're going to stamp over top. So now I'm going to move on to my um, middle layer and as I said I'm just using the same colors so I am what I'm looking to line up is that top point that I showed you earlier and that bottom sort of right hand little part of the rose that's kind of sticking out down the bottom there. So I and bear in mind that I have filming equipment up above my head here so probably usually what I would do is get my head right over top of the stamp and look down through it. But just for you guys, I'm kind of doing my best here and you'll see that it works out fine anyhow. Um, but anyhow, so I've got that second layer on and it was about right. 
adding my third layer here and I'm just going to pause for a second and show you the stamp set because I want to show you the parts that I'm going to line up. So if you look at the image here of the rows, you can kind of see this triangle in the middle. Now this is the main part of the image that I'm going to line up. Don't get me wrong, there are other parts that line up perfectly, but this triangle with the three kind of sides to it, if you line this part up pretty well, it's pretty much easy to just stamp down and go. This video is all in real time, by the way. I edited out a couple of bits where I got interrupted, but I haven't sped up anything. So you can see that the two roses look fairly similar. Not perfect, but pretty good, and to me, they worked out really well. One last thing I wanted to mention is that there is a set of coordinating dies for the stamp set. Um, I have been using this um, die that cuts out the main rows, and it fits perfectly, it's super easy to line up, it's really obvious um, and looks beautiful once cut. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that it helped you out a little bit. <laughs> See you next time, bye!